I'm Dan Ackerman and we are here taking a look at the Acer Aspire S5. Now, if you remember all the way back at CES 2012 in January, we first saw the system. At the time, Acer said it was going to be when it finally came out, the world's thinnest 13-inch Ultrabook. And I will say, it's actually a hair thinner and a tiny bit lighter than even a 13-inch MacBook Air. I think there might be one other laptop that's a hair thinner than this, but that's not technically called an Ultrabook. So for now, I'd say the record stands, but that is not the most exciting thing about this particular laptop. I'm going to show you what is. If you look on the sides here, there are no USB ports, there's no video out, anything like that. What you have to do is look very carefully at the back, and I'll show you this right here. You press a tiny button, and that's right, a little motorized port door opens up, and it's got two USB 3.0 ports, it's got HDMI, and it's actually got Thunderbolt, which is something you almost never see on a laptop or at least a Windows laptop. Now, I think that's pretty cool, but everyone I showed this to uh, had a similar reaction, like, wow, that's great. And then they had the very same question to a person. They all said, what do you do when that breaks down? Now, and using this thing over several days in dozens of uh, deployments of the, of the door, which H calls the magic flip, I have not had a problem with it, but it's a legitimate question. Uh, what they try to do, especially with very portable laptops like this, is remove as many moving parts as possible, not add new ones. That's kind of why a lot of these smaller laptops have moved to solid state hard drives rather than the traditional spinning platter hard drives. And it is very cool to see uh, Thunderbolt in a Windows laptop, uh, it's something you usually don't find outside of MacBooks. Even though this is a very thin, very light laptop, it's got an Intel Core i7 CPU in it, that's the ultra uh, low voltage version, but it's still plenty speedy. Uh, it does not have discrete graphics. Uh, we're starting to see that in a few Ultrabooks, but not here. So you're not going to use this for a lot of games. Uh, but I thought that the, uh, the keyboard and the touchpad worked fairly well for such a small laptop. One thing that drove me crazy, the keyboard is actually not backlit. That's something you see on almost any Ultrabook these days. Uh, it's a real omission. So if we're willing to take a chance on uh, that motorized magic flip port door in the back and we're willing to spend a little bit more, this thing is $13.99, uh, then you should definitely check it out. I am Dan Ackerman and that is the Acer Aspire S5.